ladies and gentlemen hey hi how you doing welcome back to the channel thank you so much for stopping by we've got a lot going on in modern warfare 2 right now over the past 24 to 48 hours or so we've seen several new updates go live that actually fix some pretty important things in game and then in addition to the new fixes and the new updates there's also been some new reveals if you will regarding some free and some bonus content in game and let's start first with a couple of things going on there it was just actually announced earlier on this week that if you are an xfinity internet user you can actually go into your reward rewards and deals page in your Xfinity account. They're giving away the Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 Battle Pass for Season 1 completely for free if you are an Xfinity customer. So if you go into your account, you should actually find a code to redeem that. Then you can go log in in game and have the Battle Pass, the premium version of it for free. While we're on the topic of the Battle Pass, I keep seeing this comment in the videos then also over on my Twitter, which by the way, if you don't follow me over there, Feel free to do so at who's immortal but uh, i keep seeing people wondering why exactly on the different free tiers or free sectors of the battle pass they're having to spend tokens that's the intended way that they're going about this you are getting the tokens for free by playing and then in order to actually claim the content you have to spend that token now you're not paying for a free tier with that token you're just claiming and choosing to get that free uh you know tier that free sector or that free reward whatever the case may be whereas any of the paid content you'd still have to redeem a token for it but if you are on the free version of the battle pass it wouldn't let you get that sector wouldn't let you get that piece of content even if you tried to spend a token on it the free tiers are still free they just want you to confirm that you want to get that free tier content by spending that token also it was announced that tokens outside of the uh vault edition bonus tokens will not be carrying over into the future battle passes and into the future seasons so if you are getting free tokens if you have the free version of the battle pass you might as well spend any tokens you can on the content there because they will not be carrying over now unfortunately as we know there is still playstation exclusivity going on for warzone 2 and mw2 but that does mean if you are a playstation player there is some free bonus content that's going to become available here pretty soon in the form of a brand new combat pack uh basically playstation put out a trailer the other day going over some of the bonuses that you get for being a playstation player including extra creative class slots some double xp events party bonus xp and also the frequent combat packs and the first one has just been revealed it's sort of like an oni themed one as well similar to the oni pre-order bundle but it is a tad bit different this is the oni tactical bundle which comes with a brand new operator skin a brand new blueprint as well it looks like for the hurricane i believe alongside a weapon charm a pistol blueprint a new animated calling card a sticker and then also an emblem as well and if you have a uh, playstation account you have playstation plus you can end up getting that combat pack as a free bonus item just simply for playing on that platform so if you're on ps4 if you're on ps5 feel free to check that out and take advantage of that extra bonus content now as i mentioned just a bit ago we have seen several new updates drop over the past couple of days just random hot fix updates here and there that have fixed some pretty significant things in game I want to preface this all by saying that there is still a long way to go in terms of fixing all the issues with the game but we are starting to see more frequent updates which is definitely a very good thing so the first one actually takes place out of game charlie intel ended up posting about this when they say blizzard has updated its sms protection requirement for battlenet games and is now allowing those prepaid phone numbers to be added so if you are a new player for warzone 2 or mw2 on battlenet and you had a prepaid phone before it wouldn't let you play the game you basically were blocked out from playing to uh you know sort of counteract cheaters you were getting hit with a stray because of that but now if you have a prepaid phone plan you can still play mw2 and warzone 2 now that's no longer going to block you from playing which is definitely good news now as we move on into the actual in-game updates that change some things there just want to remind you guys that every single day i got you covered with everything going on in mw2 warzone 2 and dmz we're talking news and updates class setups loadouts tips the whole nine so if you want to guarantee you are always up to date with that or if you're part of the 57 percent of viewers who have not already subscribed feel free to change that hit that subscribe button turn on those post notifications join us on the road to 900,000 subscribers the goal it's kind of lofty but the goal is to get there by the end of November it would be absolutely insane to see that milestone happen so if you're new here we'd love to have you join the family also if you guys enjoyed this video let me know by dropping a like on it as well you guys have been killing it with the support on the videos every single day I say it a lot but I do seriously appreciate it let's try and aim for 3,000 likes on this one but for these new in-game updates we can turn to either uh the raven and infinity ward twitter accounts or their trello boards which have some new updates here with some resolved issues which is always nice to see so 
over the past few days they fixed an issue that caused uh, your squad mates to basically just not appear in your squad in game the squad widget was not working correctly and it would show players as missing even if they were actually there so that should no longer be an issue they also fixed the major major problem with the social tab that would not let you join up with your friends however in order to fix said social tab they had to adjust the weapon showcase uh thing for some reason so everyone's weapon showcase is currently an m4 infinity ward said but that is uh you know a small temporary issue that helps with a much larger fix in the social menu so you shouldn't have any issues joining up with your friends anymore they also fixed an issue with the max tokens error going on at the battle pass where it wouldn't let you redeem anything or uh, you know purchase anything there so definitely a solid update there we also got word of a few other incoming updates here hopefully in the next few days they don't really ever give an eta on when exactly some of the trello issues will be fixed but they do uh you know usually show up just a few days before they are fixed most of the time keyword most of the time the things on the trello are not there for long periods of time but uh for dmz there's issues with backpacks disappearing when a player is eliminated and disconnects from the match their backpack will disappear they are aware of that and investigating that and then uh over on the multiplayer side of things the cdl mosh pit update obviously it's still missing it was delayed from the season one launch they actually have a fix in progress for that so hopefully that'll be dropping here pretty soon also they temporarily disabled the cdl settings in private matches likely because it was still allowing players to gain access to every single piece of content in the game we're talking every single calling card every single emblem all the unreleased blueprints all sorts of stuff like that it was all accessible through the cdl settings for some reason so they did go ahead and uh, and disable those so you won't be able to play any cdl setting custom games for the time being now there are a few other issues that are not currently listed on the trello board but i have confirmed that infinity ward and raven and call of duty are aware of these uh in warzone at the start of a game in the pre-game lobby or the warm-up session you'll notice that some lobbies just never start they don't end up filling it might start off with like 130 out of 152 players but then players start to disconnect and it goes down to 120 110 90 and the lobby never starts they are aware of this issue with the lobbies not like sort of refilling if players are backing out so that hopefully will be resolved here pretty soon there's also an issue where there is a ui bug currently that is saying that you need to purchase modern warfare 2 in order to play warzone 2 i want to stress this you do not have to buy modern warfare 2 warzone 2 and dmz are free to play that is just a ui issue that for whatever reason is popping up they are aware of that they should have a fix out for that one i would imagine relatively soon here again if uh, if it does end up coming out with like an actual patch note update or like a little hot fix update once there's enough worthwhile information to make a video for you guys we will be posting that but they are aware of that issue as well from my understanding if you keep restarting your game until that prompt doesn't appear you should be fine it's going to be annoying to have to continuously restart your game but it is a bypass for the time being until they actually have a full-on fix for that out so a couple of new things you might want to look out for in terms of bugs and glitches but also some of the updates that we have seen already deployed in game fixing the social menu fixing some of the squad bugs and then also allowing more players to actually play the game with the sms protection system definitely some really really crucial things getting addressed there in the coming days i fully expect more updates to be dropping pretty frequently with other bug fixes maybe some other patch notes tuning all sorts of stuff like that if the time comes and that stuff does happen you guys already know i'll have you covered with all that alongside everything else going on in cod between mw2 warzone 2 and dmz so feel free to subscribe to guarantee you are up to date with that stuff also if you guys enjoyed this video let me know by dropping a like on it as well on your way out as always if you want to check out any of my partners be sure to use code immortal for a discount on all scuff g fuel gamer advantage and control freak products and the links for all those can be found down in the description below but once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day i'll catch you guys later peace out